this isn't my event this morning, but I was graciously uh, given the opportunity to have some time to, to, honor, um, to honor some families. Uh, I, as I have not had a chance to meet everyone here, but many of the families that are here I have known in, in the past. But I'm a Gold Star Dad. My son was killed in Iraq in 2005 in Fallujah, and I was killed by a sniper. And that, uh, many in the room can, can imagine and, and are going through uh, the, the grieving of that and, and the understanding and the processing of all of what that means to, to lose a loved one. And you know, some of you don't know what that means, and thank God, uh, hopefully you'll never, you never will. But um, we have an opportunity uh, as an organization to honor these families and to honor all families, military fam fam fault, military connected families who have lost loved ones in military service. They're not all military families. You know, that's an interesting uh, uh, misnomer, is that our kids uh, or our spouses or whoever our loved one may be, because they were in the military, somehow we're in the military, but we're really not. Um, my, I was never in the military and my son was. And so he joined the army. It was his decision. He served, he loved what he was doing. He didn't come home. That didn't make me an arm, you know, make me connected to the army in any way at all. And so there's a connection at first and then there's a disconnection. And so the families, uh, in very different circumstances, all go through that process of are we in the military or not in the military, and uh, and and yet our loved ones you know, served our country proudly as as you did those in the VFW. I want to thank you for the opportunity this morning. Ken had to run out. Ken Allison, if you know him, um, set this up. Unfortunately, I I wish it was more uh, broadcast. So that other members of the VFW, you know, could experience and to meet families and to hear stories and and to understand that um, there's a whole community out there, a whole community that have nothing to do, as I mentioned, with the military. Yet they gave their loved ones in military service, and so across this land, VFWs everywhere in this nation, there are. Families of the fallen, Gold Star families, who are in every community. And those families, you may not know they exist. I mean, they exist because they're there, but you don't know that they exist because you can't identify them. You know, they, these moms in here today are wearing white. Uh, that's a rare thing. They don't walk around wearing white all the time so that you could go, okay, that lady's wearing white, that lady's wearing white. You know, the dad's. You know, if you see the dads, got a dad in a suit, two dads in a suit, one in a t-shirt, you wouldn't even know that they were Gold Star fathers, that they had given their sons for this country. <clears throat> and so the, the responsibility that I believe as a veteran organization is to somehow reach these families, somehow communicate to them you know what? We don't know who you are. We know you're out there. And we care. We appreciate what you've given. And this is one step by having a reception and saying, families from the Missouri area, come in. We want to say hi. We want to hear about, about you. We want to connect with you. you know, this is the one, the most, one of the most important people groups in this entire nation is the people group that has given their loved ones so that we could be free. The generation of those that didn't get to come home and be veterans. Really. And, and how do we reach them? And that's something that we do. And uh, having this opportunity this morning, and I'm going to ask Lynn, where is he? Uh, this is going to be very, very brief. Uh, <coughs> because some of the ladies here are going to receive a special flag that you are honored to be privileged to, to be a part of. 
This happens almost every day somewhere in the nation. But the Honor and Remember flag was established six years ago to be a national public symbol of remembrance. Not a military symbol, not a veteran symbol, but a civilian icon so that we have some way of speaking to the families that we don't know exist, as I mentioned. You don't know where they are, you don't know who they are, they're not identifying themselves, but you know they're out there. So how do you speak to them? How do you say anything to them? Especially thank you. Well, we thought that the best way of doing that was with a symbol. They may not know you, but you know them. So this symbol was established on Memorial Day of 2008, and I'm gonna go quickly through the symbolism and then we're gonna do a presentation. The red field stands for the sacrifice of bloodshed. If you have a brochure in front of you, the symbolism is in there. American flag red, what better color? The white field beneath represents the purity of that sacrifice because each one of you that served said to your families, don't worry, got it covered, I'll be back. Pure hearts, they didn't come home. The folded flag, well, the blue star, goes back to World War I, if you all know that. A blue, <coughs> solid blue star was hung on a banner on the windows and doors of families' homes, only the family members. And it would let you know that someone was in active duty. That began in World War I. The gold star overlaid that blue star when that loved one was not coming home. That's where we get the term gold star family, gold star mother, gold star father. Very few in this country know what a gold star family member is or means. Very, very few. Many in the military don't know, and certainly the general population doesn't know. Folded flag beneath those stars is a reminder of that flag that was given to the family at the memorial of their loved one. This country was built on one folded flag at a time. And it's often confused, I won't take the time to explain that, but as a Gold Star dad, whenever I walk into someone's office or into a building and I see a folded flag in a shadow box, I immediately think somebody has been killed. That's my immediate thought because that's what I identify with that flag that was handed to me at the burial of my son. But why is it folded like that? It's because that's the way you fold the American flag. It has nothing to do with the context of it. It's just the way you fold the flag. So those of you who retired, whether it be from the whatever branch of service, were given a retired flag, the flag flies over the Capitol and it's given as a gift, it's always folded in a triangle. But a Gold Star family sees it as a loss. It's a very different perspective that many don't see. The words below, we will always honor their sacrifice and remember them individually by name. What we do is we remember every single Gold Star family, regardless of generation, by name, every day in some form or fashion. That is the power of having something to communicate to a people group that all they have left in this world is someone waiting for someone to say, thank you, thank you for that sacrifice. Because they will never have that young, healthy, educated individual, their loved one, back in their lives again. Never. What, I'll tell this story and then we'll, we'll go do the presentation. But when my son came to me and told me he joined the army, my first thought to him was, are you crazy? This was in 2004. I said, are you crazy? There's a war going on. Do you not know that? And he said, Dad, I know. He said, but somebody has to help. I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to do what I can. <clears throat> so... I was proud of him for that. But what we all need to understand, and those get it, we're, I'm preaching to the choir here, is that that is a normal reaction for any family 
any parent to say to their, their, their kid, right? Normal reaction. Doesn't matter how uh, entrenched you are in, in military and how you know, patriotic you are, nobody wants their child to die for their country. Nobody does. They would rather somebody else's child die for their country. It's normal. And what I'm saying is, somebody else's child is dying for your country. What is the very least we can do is say thank you. Very least. <clears throat> I'd like for Katie and I'm going to read a short bio. I want to explain one thing. I just see this flag is folded in a triangle configuration. This flag is folded this way only one time ever. And it's folded this way because it mirrors this American flag that was handed to the family at the memorial of their loved one. But unlike this flag, our nation's symbol, which is meant, as I, I explained earlier, what this means to a Gold Star family, what they see when they see the context of this, this flag that was handed to them stays folded like this forever in a shadow box as a reminder, respectfully and reverently, forever. But the honor and remember flag is meant to be a symbol of gratitude. And it cannot be a symbol of gratitude unless it's displayed. So this flag is folded one time like this, in honor of this flag, and then unfolded to be displayed as that symbol of national gratitude. Lance Corporal Leon B. Oh, sorry. Marine Corporal Riley E. Baker served with the 3rd Battalion, 8th Marine Regiment, 2nd Marine Division, 2nd Marine Expeditionary Force in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Corporal Baker was killed during combat operations against the enemy on June 22, 2006 in Ramadi, Iraq. He was an example to his peers through the many leadership roles he assumed. Riley wanted to be a Marine because he did not want anyone to fight for him. His family and friends remember him as a great guy whose disposition made everyone feel comfortable. Corporal Baker was up for a bronze star prior to his death, and his family received this great honor after he was killed. This honor and remember flag is presented with eternal gratitude and respect in memory of Corporal Riley E. Baker. With this flag, we honor this patriot's unwavering dedication and remember his selfless sacrifice. By displaying this symbol collectively as a nation, we humbly recognize the enormity of your loss and respectfully say thank you. Like Sandy and Dale Draps, please come forward. Lance Corporal Lee.
Avion V. Duraps, served in the United States Marine Corps, serving with the 7th Engineer Support Battalion, 1st Marine Logistics Group, 1st Marine Expeditionary Force, in Camp Pendleton, California. Lance Corporal Duraps was the youngest child of six with three sisters and two brothers. His family was built on the Marine lifestyle, and Leon felt his call of duty as well. He pre-enlisted as a senior in high school and left for training in 2005, right after graduation. He was sent to Iraq on his first deployment, months within completing his military training. Lance Corporal Leon Durabs lost his life in combat operations against enemy forces in Anbar Province, Iraq, on May 6, 2006, at the age of 19. His family knows that his duty to protect and serve didn't end his life. And he is still standing guard in the streets of heaven. This honorary member flag is presented with eternal gratitude and respect in memory of Lance Corporal Leon B. Durabs. With this flag, we honor this patriot's unwavering dedication and remember his selfless sacrifice. By displaying this symbol collectively as a nation, we humbly recognize the enormity of your loss and respectfully say thank you. Every once in a while, every generation of fallen is remembered with this flag, and we present the flag, regardless of generation, to families <coughs> across this nation on the average of one every single day. Uh, and still, the numbers are the numbers are still too astronomical, and we can't get to them all. Um, presented over 2,000 flags in the last six years, and have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds waiting for flags that we can't get to. Every once in a while, I have an opportunity to present a flag that a family doesn't know about. It's a surprise. And, uh, Sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes it's not. But I think it will be a good thing. And, and so this morning I have one more flag to present. And this family doesn't know that they're receiving it, but uh, they will in a second. I would like uh, to go ahead and open the flag. Lance 